Good evening, Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmasters. I am your guest. One good evening to everyone. Myself, Virginia Smile, and I will be the surgeon at arms for today's meeting. Welcome to our summarized meeting session. In our case, class, Toastmasters Club, number 43. Then call Toastmasters Club, number 82. In the mechanical Toastmasters Club, number 140. In Toastmasters Club, meeting number 318, and Saint Paul Building Club, meeting number 25. Before starting the meeting, I would like to mention three ground rules, which you follow in our Toastmasters meeting. Please turn off your mobile phones or put them in silent mode. As Toastmasters, we don't talk about sex, religion, and politics, so please refrain from discussing these topics. Please don't cross talk. There are some ground rules for online participants also. Please turn off your video if you are not stepping out of the meeting. If you are stepping out of the meeting, use chat function to, to provide feedback to speakers directly to encourage them. Please don't put any general message on chat as this may distract viewers and speakers. You can choose and display from reactions as high five or namaste when a speaker joins or leaves. If you're a speaker, please ensure you pin the timer or confirm that you, are, you can visible the timer. Everybody has a mission to achieve the goals in their life. Likewise, our Toastmasters Club has a mission. Mission of our Toastmasters Club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. And we know we are all aware that our theme of our Toastmasters Club is freedom fighters. We know that freedom fighters were people who sacrificed their life selflessly for the freedom of their country. Every country has its fair share of freedom fighters. People look up to them in terms of patriotism and love for one country. So when we when hear when we hear this word. Freedom fighters, the first person who comes in, out into our mind. Of course, our Mahatma Gandhi. He's the one of the top most, top most freedom fighters of India. Mohandas Karanchan Gandhi, he's the, the full name, was born on October 2nd, 1869. With this, I would like to invite our presiding officer, Toastmasters Grish Mittal is a graduate engineer. He's a life member of Institution of Engineers and All India Management Association. He runs his own software company, which specializes in mathematical and statistical modeling working with various clients in India and abroad like Oracle, Polaris, Gun and Bradstreet, etc. He's also a certified lead, lead auditor for ISO 9001, 2015. He was invited to join Rotary in 2003 and, and has had held various positions in the club and the club I and district he was president in the RY 2007-2008 of Rotary Club of Mumbai, Borwali East and was able to give a great year to, this, to his club in fellowship and community service. He is the charter member of Elokian Alliance Toastmasters Club and has taken of its second president in this year. He is an avid marathoner taking regular part in marathons for 42 kilometers. Let's invite our post presiding officer, Toastmasters Girish Mitta. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Toastmaster Regina. It was uh, quite an elaborate introduction. Thank you very much again. I welcome fellow Toastmasters, Gaveliers, and uh, most welcome guests, if we have any. As a presiding officer, this meeting to order. Shall we, before going ahead, shall we pass the agenda? Uh, Toastmaster, uh, our VP education. Yes, uh, we can pass the agenda. We have a yes. visitor that is our, uh, you know, area director has come. Only that has not been included in the agenda. Only with that alteration, we can go ahead. 
we will okay, add so, that to the yes right so do we do we have somebody to propose and uh, to second that agenda of course yes please i welcome someone to propose the agenda propose that the agenda may be passed it can be adopted yes passed yes deepak deshpande has proposed Okay. And uh, I see ATM Renosh uh, second. Yes, I just Renosh yes. second the adoption of it. Okay, first term. So thank you. With 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 the with this uh, small correction, the the agenda gets approved. Absolutely. Good morning. Good evening, Toastmasters from all over the world. We have from various countries, including Girja, who has joined us from Chicago. Welcome to this joint meeting of Eloquent Delights, Eloquent Delights with St. Paul's Toastmasters Club, Indian Academy Toastmasters Club, Awesome and Innovative Mind Toastmasters Club, and St. Paul Gavaliers Club. I extend a warm welcome to the Toastmasters and Gavaliers from our collaborating clubs all the way from Bahrain. I extend a hearty welcome to the role players from other clubs. Our esteemed uh, general evaluator today is Toastmaster Sarah Abraham, Area Director, Area 2. Uh, welcome to our speaker, Mohammed Arafat, all the way from Egypt. Egypt, uh, okay, Alexandria Toastmasters Club. Without you all, this meeting would not have been possible. Happy, since this is a hybrid meeting, we have two, two Toastmasters of the day today. Uh, DTM uh, Raja and who will, who is the Toastmaster of the day offline and uh, Toastmaster Girja who will be the Toastmaster of the day for the online part. Briefly introducing both of them, Toastmaster Girja Deshpande is the VP Education of uh, Eloquent Delight Toastmasters Club. She is president of All Elites Advanced Toastmaster Club. She is a blogger, writer, leadership coach, translator, HR consultant, and a very passionate Rotarian. She is as passionate a Rotarian as she is a passionate Toastmaster. She anchors a, a YouTube show, uh, show, a show, a series called Freedom from Addiction. The, the show has now completed 16 episodes and they are getting amazing response. The offline Toastmaster of the day is Raja Manikam. Distinguished Toastmaster, VP Education in Voice of Innovators Toastmasters, President of Indian Academy Toastmasters. By profession, he is an instrumentation engineer, and by passion, he is a software and a web developer. Father of two princes, immediate past, Area 35 Director, and so on and so forth. I hand over the floor to Distinguished Toastmaster Raja, the offline Toastmaster of the day, to take the proceedings further. Thank you, Toastmaster Girish Mittal, and uh, wonderful interactions. And uh, I, I hope all I saw witnessed uh, everything smiled over there. Welcome, fellow Toastmasters and Gavaliers and guests. Today's theme is Indian Freedom Fighters. Let me dive in our theme. Life without liberty is like a body without spirit. British took nearly 100 years to control the whole of India and then ruled India about 90 years. The Mughal ruled over India for about 300 years. Our freedom fighters faced depression, slavery, imprisonment, hunger, separation from family, and death. Due to their sacrifice, we live in a free nation. Indian struggle for freedom has given us inspiring leaders and role models. We learned various life lessons from different leaders. Today, together, we will remember the leaders with gratitude and list the lesson we learned from them. Any movement becomes successful because of the leaders who give sense of direction to the masses. I request you all to think on one lesson you have learned from teachings or actions or life of a freedom fighter or from any instance of freedom movement. And it is useful for our life today. Think of an answer in just about one or two sentences. As the meeting progress, we will interact in the interest of time. Let's keep the response quest. For the sake of guests, every Toastmaster meeting ideally has three sections. First section is where our meeting roles, players or individuals and member present prepare features as per learning course they have chosen. This section I will handle. Today's online master, Toastmaster is Girindra Deshpande. 
she will take you through the second and third sections let's move on to the first section introductions of role player and prepared speeches see as per agenda definitely you have to take in print out in a3 size then only you can know about the today's all rock stars will ready to speak as per as agenda i would like to introduce our g of the today aspiring biomedical engineer a writer reader educator and dreamer started her journey in the toastmaster circuit at the age of 11 by becoming a gavelier and her incredible journey continues as a date a ted educator and just got the title of ted fellows she is someone who keeps a local for things where she can become an agent of change and novelty she believes to speak is to influence and to influence is to become creators of change and that is one one should strive to achieve let us welcome our ge toastmaster sara ibrahim stage is yours thank you so much uh, for the warm welcome it is my privilege that i'm part of a meeting which involves five clubs and this is the very first time i will be doing a ge report for five clubs i am more nervous than you honestly but i believe something that is very very important is that evaluation and feedback is something that was stressed upon by ralph steve smedley our founder as well and it is the breakfast of champions and aren't we all trying to achieve to become champions in the future so let's echo that thought throughout today's meeting and my role is to give a comprehensive feedback at the very end of each and every aspect of today's session um things that were the highlight for me and things that we could make it better to make it the best i'll try to keep an eye on each one of you but it's going to be a little bit difficult for me considering the, it's a hybrid meeting uh helping me in my task today would be the tac team the timer our content grammarian and they'll be telling you about their roles what they are called upon thank you and back to you to master of the day thank you to master zara ibrahim can you share one lesson life lesson that you learned from the freedom movement uh, one thing that i learned from the freedom movement and i've been reading about the freedom struggle since class 8 Uh, the memories of what we studied in class first and foremost whenever we hear about it we have goosebumps about it just just thinking about it and then you realize how much was put into the freedom struggle and what exactly our situation of the country is in i mean those freedom fighters would have died for us for our freedom and today the country is not in such a great condition something that i've learned is the never give up attitude that each freedom fighter portrayed throughout the struggle is very very important as a leader that's very important and that's something that we echo even in toastmasters we never give up we keep on trying and trying as much as possible striving to achieve our goal our ultimate mission and that is the life lesson that i would love to take back and would leave back for everybody today over to you toastmaster of the day yes toastmaster zara ibrahim indeed memorable yes of course i witnessed your book unmasked resemblance everyone has to read that book may i request grammar and toastmaster grija jesh pande vp education from elephant lights toastmaster club to give the word of the day and explain her role back to you thank you thank you you can see the word of the day behind me it is strife that is a noun form is strife and the verb form is strive and it is an irregular verb so for a past tense it does not take d we say strove that is a past tense now the synonyms are combat struggle conflict in keeping with the subject the theme of the day this is the word of the day so remember to use the word strife or strive or strove any one of that 
in whenever you talk. I request all role players and speakers to try to use it in their speech. Now, as a Toastmaster, my role is not only to give you the word of the day usage, but I will also make a record of who are the people, how many people used it, and then I will present it in the report. The good usages, idioms, phrases, metaphors, similes, proposition phrases, all those will be recorded and that also will be repeated so that people will remember them. When we remember, listen to a speech, we just absorb the content. But then when separately good usages are presented to you, that is when we recognize them. Then areas of improvement, wherever there are grammatical errors, that also will be pointed out and pronunciation variations also will be pointed out. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Girija. Can you share one enduring thought from freedom struggle that stays with you? Yes. I remember the salt satyagraha that is an enduring movement that stays with me. When it started, there were only 80 people. And then it, when it ended, there were 1,20,000 people, 24 days, 240 miles, and 1,20,000 people at the end, 60,000 people were arrested. So that shows that when you have your conviction in your principle, then support will automatically happen. This is one huge lesson that I learned from the freedom struggle. Thank you so much. Over to you again. Indeed, memorable. <coughs> Surely, it is a life lesson worth preserving. I request every speaker and role player to use the word of the day. May I request our counter Toastmaster DDM Renos from St. Paul's Toastmaster Club the significance of his role. Thank you, Toastmaster Day. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, greetings to all of you. Well, let me just first tell you the purpose of an hour counter. The purpose of this hour counter, my role, is to note the words and sounds that are used as crutch or pause fillers by anyone who speaks. During the meeting, I will listen for overused words, including and, well, but, so, you know, you know, I shall, I shall. I will also listen for filler words and sounds like um, er, ah. Uh. I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or a phrase such as I, I, or this means, this means and so forth. At the end of the meeting, when called upon, I will report the number of times that each speaker used these expressions and it is very helpful for each one of us to grow as an eloquent speaker and let us strive ourselves to avoid these filler words. Over to you, Dr. Thank you, DDM Renos. What is it that you think we can learn from our freedom fighters struggle? DDM Renos? Thank you, Toastmaster Day. Well, in fact, I believe our online Toastmaster Day, Toastmaster Girija, actually picked up the same thing that I was actually having in my mind. So I whether I wonder whether she she had the same script <laughs> that I was. If I was the grammarian, I would have said that first. But I take that into a slightly different way, which was the Salt Satyagraha or the Dandi March, but where the freedom fighters went with a non-violence movement. And what's more important is that our actions speak louder than words. And of course, words are important in communication as well. So it's not that we react to certain things, but how we words and actions that we do make a lot. Uh, I believe that the flag that we hoist, it wavers not because the wind may affect, but I believe all those freedom fighters' breath makes that flag move and hover and we hoist it at must. So I salute all the freedom fighters, no one specifically, but all of them who fought and that's the reason why we are alive here today and why we have that freedom and that we have in today. Over to you, Toastmaster Day. Thank you, Gideon Renos. 
Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Next important role players are our timers. I request offline timer, Toastmaster. Toastmaster Regina is my from our Indian Academy Toastmaster Club to explain how the timer keeps a meeting as per timeline and demonstrates timing for only preferred speeches only. Regina, Toastmaster Regina, just timing for only preferred speeches only now. At the same time, I request online timer Toastmaster Fatima Safa from Indian Academy Toastmaster to only demonstrate timing color cards on the Zoom background at the same time. Over to you, Toastmaster Regina Ismail. Only preferred speeches. Good evening once again. As a timer, it's my responsibility for keeping the track of time during the meeting. My role as timer is to monitoring time during prepared speeches, uh, prepared speeches only. And at, at the end of the meeting, I will report the times of each participant. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Regina Ismail. Could you like to share uh, any thoughts we can learn from our freedom fighters and struggle? Freedom, that is important to each and every person. And uh, mm. So we can we cannot um, we will not have no problem. At times we are lost for words, uh, Regina. That was well done. I would just request you to display the color cards. You didn't demonstrate the color cards. So at the same time, when you are saying that, if it is four minutes, five minutes, and six minutes, that you will show green, yellow, and red. Similarly, the off online timer also has to demonstrate the time card. So you will have to show it behind when it happens. Right? Please can you demonstrate how it how will it look, the online timer? Please do that. Yes. When it is for icebreakers, it is four minutes, five minutes, and six minutes. So at the end of four minutes, it will be green. Online Toastmaster, please change your virtual background to green. Yes. And when it is six minutes, five minutes, it will be yellow for icebreakers. Please remember. Yes. And for six minutes, it will become red. Up to 30 seconds, you have got grace period. Otherwise, you will not be included in your in the voting for the best speaker, but you will not be anyway disqualified or anything. So do not worry about it. Icebreakers, please just speak to your heart's content. Those who are presenting their icebreakers. And the other speakers, it is for five to seven minutes. So again, it will be the green, yellow, and red will be shown at five minutes, six minutes, and seven minutes. Yes. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Girija. Take over the right moment. And uh, our offline timer, could you like to share about uh, what is it that you think we can learn from our freedom fighters and struggle? Toastmaster Fatima? Yes, sure. Um, what comes to my mind, um, we are all telling about the year 1947 as the year of independence. But what we don't remember is that there was a starting point, a catalyst, something that took place over 200 years before that, uh, 200 or 100, I'm not sure. There was something that happened, an event, the revolt of 1857, exactly if we say. And that was the starting point that is considered as the first um, war of independence in India. And there were so many leaders, so many freedom fighters like Mangal Pandey and Rani Lakshmi Bai. There were so many. Now that event or uprising wasn't very successful. But eventually, eventually we got the freedom. And it is also because of their, uh, their dedication and their bravery. And I would like to salute them at this moment. We remember them during this moment where we remember the Indian freedom fighters. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, brave Toastmaster Fatima Safa. 
Superb. Let's move on to prepared speeches. The first two speeches are icebreakers. For the sake of guests, these are the maiden speeches of this Toastmaster in our club. As the objectives of for all icebreakers are the same for all parts, I request first speech evaluator Toastmaster Parashar to read that read out the speech objectives. Good evening, everybody. You can come there. Yes. The purpose of the icebreaker is the purpose of this project is for the member to introduce himself or herself to the club and learn the basic structure of a public speech. So from my side, good luck for the first speaker. Uh, this will be same implemented to the second speaker. Okay. Yes, sir. Back. Thank you, Toastmaster Parishar. A recent Republic Day in India must have awakened some memories from freedom struggle. Can you share anything you think we must learn from the experience? Yes, GPM Raja. I have not seen the slavery since I was born. I have seen the freedom. And whenever a question comes about the slavery, just we feel the shivering. So the time when freedom fighters were fighting for our freedom, I can uh, memorize and I can uh, feel it how uh, sub they suffered. But I learned from the freedom fighters only this is a teamwork. It was the teamwork. As any photo, if you can see the photo, you have photo, this is the teamwork. Whenever, uh, so this is the lesson we can learn from them. Any, any difficult job can be resolved, any difficult can be solved by the team. Oh, this is the learning from the freedom fighters. Great, sir. That's inspiring. The first speaker today is Toastmaster Nadrajan. He is from Eloquent Allied Toastmaster. He has chosen the path team collaboration. Toastmaster Harish, be ready. Harish Nadrajan, a glimpse of the tip of the iceberg. A glimpse of the tip of the iceberg. Harish Nadrajan. When I heard the word icebreaker, I can remember Ernest Hemingway's iceberg theory. Only one eighth portion of the iceberg is visible above sea level. But what makes it strong is because of what is not seen. Hemingway said, not including all the details is what makes a story strong. This made it clear to me that in six minutes, the tip of the iceberg that I managed to demonstrate will itself reveal the underlying strong structure beneath it. Good evening, Toastmasters of the day, fellow Toastmasters and all other guests. I am Harish Natarajan and I am born and brought up in Gombili, Mumbai. I was born in a nuclear family consisting of my parents and a sister. Hard work is something that we strongly believe in and it has taken us to where we are today. Uh, we all might have heard, curiosity kills a cat, but I believe curiosity is what makes us humans. This curiosity of learning how the light works, what happens when I switch on a fan and how it works behind is what motivated me in pursuing science as the field of study. That's when I chose science during my higher secondary education. So I joined a college in Mullard, which is called Vani Vidyalaya, where I went to pursue my higher secondary education. There I met with one of my friends, Hari Aran. We had a great gang of people who were closely interested in pursuing Carnatic music. So we formed a music club in our college. So we used to sing a lot of songs and Hariyaran would be playing them rhythm for us. Like the life was beautiful there and we didn't knew how time flies by. Uh, we used to discuss about ragas, varnas and sing a lot of songs and then compete in inter-college level music competition as well. After completing my higher secondary education, I moved on to pursue my Bachelor of Engineering in Information Technology. That's when he came into my life. On the first day of my college, he came to me asking what time it was. But little did we know that from knowing what time it is to not caring what the time is, our friendship would grow so thick. And that is Derek. 
we used to discuss a lot about the future how we can build things that would be beneficial for the society and this motivated us in pursuing artificial intelligence as the field of study a friend is a one who knows you as you are understands where you are being accepts what you have become and still gently allows you to grow i experienced this while we were learning artificial intelligence together that's when my life changed completely we got an opportunity from government of india called us manthan national security hackathon which was conducted by aict and bureau of police research and development this was purely a, a life changing opportunity for us the problem statement which we got was face recognition at varied angles in live cctv footage i led a team of 3 people to this hackathon it was a continuous 36 hours coding hackathon where we had to build a solution for this problem we strove hard to build a solution and finally we got built a prototype which was presented before the evaluators so they suggested some changes and we presented it to them the learning which i had for ai like i referred a lot of online courses from coursera udemy and other online sources so this helped me a lot in developing this prototype and finally we won the national level hackathon after winning the hackathon i got a job offer from one of the startup companies in delhi called as aftershock there i worked for 9 months as a computer vision developer i got a lot of more things to learn apart from the things which are taught in courses i got a lot of hands on stuff to do as well moving on i got a, i recently got another job offer from a bangalore based startup company as a data scientist where i am currently working i would love to improvise my leadership skill and become a, a good speaker and that's what motivated me in joining those matches thank you this is to master this is to master raj can you just check the audio i'm not able to hear i think uh, you've got to unmute yourself sorry for this thank you dtm nanosh and uh, yeah we are our next speakers on the way so we will move on third speaker third speaker is toastmaster mohammad amar arfa from alexandra toastmaster club all the way from egypt pathway presentation mastery he is at level 2 is presenting project introduction to toastmasters mentoring his speech evaluator is toastmaster narsha sorson from indian academy toastmasters club please toastmaster narsha can you read out the speech objectives um, thank you master sorson please good evening everyone so the objectives are the purpose of this project is for the mentor to clear to clearly define how toastmaster envision mentoring the purpose of this speech is for the mentor to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege i wish my speaker all the best and back to you master of some thank you toastmaster narsha could you like to share uh, things today's theme Okay. Good evening once again. Um, okay. Uh, more than learning, I admire freedom fighter uh, Sardar Vallabhai Patel because uh, he was an Indian uh, lawyer, influential, influential 
political leader barrister and uh, statesman who serves as first deputy prime minister and home minister of india from 1947 to 1950 in future i also want to be a lawyer like him and back to you master of ceremony yes we wish you all the best for your lawyer uh, journey thank you toast master nasha now the to the prepared speech by third speaker of the day mohammad amar arafat the value of mentor the value of mentor mohammad aram amar arafat over to you mohammad uh, we've all had mentors in our lives but how valuable were they for us to to thrive but before anything we need to uh, get a definition of what mentorship it really is so mentorship is an invaluable tool for personal and professional growth it is a relationship between two people typically one is more experienced than the uh, than the other the mentor is almost definitely more experienced than the mentee in which the mentor provides guidance advice and support to the mentee to help uh, and, and mentorship uh, can take many forms uh, from uh, the initial conversation it could be a one time event or an ongoing long lasting relationship regardless uh, of which way uh, mentorship has been proven uh, to have a positive impact on both parties uh, involved uh, let's digest more uh, from each uh, party's perspective uh, from the mentee's perspective the mentorship provides access to knowledge and experience uh, that may uh, not have had otherwise another point of view he might had never seen before the mentor can provide deep insight into their own experiences and expertise and help guide the mentee through difficult decisions and uh, challenging situations uh, the, uh, the mentor can help his mentee thrive through difficult times mentees also benefit from having someone to talk to who can offer their unbiased advice and support them uh, through their uh, uh, support them through their uh, hard strive uh, uh, to reach their uh, utmost potential to reach their goals but from the mentor's perspective mentorship provides an opportunity to give back it's a bit altruistic if we might say uh, give back by sharing their knowledge and uh, experiences with others it can also it allows allow them to stay connected with their industry or field of uh, expertise he might have gone the mentor have gone higher up the ranks he forgot what uh, the newcomers uh, are doing nowadays while uh, while uh, field of industry while, while helping other uh, uh, while helping the mentee throw uh, grow professionally geometrically mentors of uh, often times find uh, find that they gain as much as the mentee that they have missed out on some things that are new that the mentee uh, has found, has uh, recently found, uh, found out Uh, mentors often find uh, uh, find that it has it, that it is a mutually beneficial relationship. It's not a one-sided thing from the mentor to the mentee. You know, the mentee also gives back uh, and helps also the mentor thrive. They're able to reflect. Uh, uh, the mentor is able to reflect their own experiences uh, while learning from those of their mentee as well. Unfortunately, sometimes that uh, the mentee 
the, uh, I apologize, the mentor acts as a crutch that the mentee leans on. It, it, uh, he, the, the mentee thinks he's uh, progressing, but he's simply asking questions, and he's simply asking questions to his mentor and simply not doing what he has to do. And it's an ongoing conversation, and, and there, are, and and it's uh, simply an, an objective. Then, it, uh, and while communicating with his mentor, he's going off the rails. But overall, mentorship is a powerful tool for personal and professional growth that benefits both parties involved, and it is an opportunity for mentors to share their knowledge and experience while uh, helping others. Uh, through their strive and to reach their goal for mentees to re to gain access to valuable resources that would otherwise be uh, unavailable. And uh, let me just end by uh, saying that you've all mentioned freedom fighters. Uh, those freedom fighters probably uh, had mentees. They were mentees one day and they're uh, not, they, they what would their mentee what would the mentors the freedom fighters look at their mentees would they be proud of their mentees uh, would be would they be ashamed of them i like to believe that they would be proud of their mentees uh, and uh, and this uh, mentor mentee relationship uh, is an invaluable tool for success and uh, thank you very much. Wow, thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed. Uh, you are uh, today, you touched our team, Freedom Fighters, as a value of mentor. I could like to ask only one question because you shared your mentor value. So, who is your mentor? My your mentor. Toastmaster? My, oh, my mentor is uh, from my same Toastmasters club in Alexandria, is Dr. Nisreen. Uh, oh, she helped me uh, rise through the ranks very quickly. Wow, great. Thank you, Toastmaster Mohammed Ahmad. That was indeed. Now, we move on our fourth speaker. Everyone waiting for her speech. Rusbi Bashir is that from Indian Academy Toastmasters Club is pursuing path innovative planning. She is at level one, project three. I invite our Toastmasters, Sharin and Matthew, St. Paul Toastmasters, uh, Toastmasters to share her speech objectives. Over to you, Sharin. Toastmaster Sharin. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Raja. Um, my speaker is attempting level one, project three. The purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. Timer, please note the timing of the speech is five to seven minutes. I wish Toastmaster Rusby all the best for her speech. Thank you and over to Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Sharin, thank you very much. Can you share an unforgettable lesson that you learned from Freedom Struggle? Sure. Uh, thank you. Something that, in my perspective, I would like to share is uh, the patriotism, the strife that each of the Indian epitomes or the Indian freedom fighters had towards the country which made them to carelessly fight for India to have a better future marks history. And I believe that their josh to achieve the ultimate goal of freedom is something inspiring. Same way, if we strive to achieve something in life, nothing is impossible. Thank you and over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Sharin. Wonderful. Now, Toastmaster Rushmi Bashir, her speech title is Pathway to Success. Pathway to Success, Toastmaster Rushmi Bashir. Over to you, Toastmaster Rushmi. 
What is your ambition? Was a question I had to frequently face during my school days. Born in a family who considers education to be the top priority, my grandparents and parents wanted be, me to be a doctor, of course, Asian parents' household things. And since I was a girl of indifference, I was fine with it. I wanted to become an oncologist to treat cancer patients. I've seen uh, this dream of building a resort kind of center for patients. Uh, I'd name it Hope with meditation rooms, courtyards, gardens, with light music every time. A place where it resembles nothing like a treatment center. And if I started describing that center, uh, it would take the whole meeting. Fast forwarding time, here I am, stubbing on to my last year of architectural studies and bachelor's of art in English. Thank you, Master of Ceremony, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good evening to you all. It was during the process of my neat national eligibility come entrance text exams that I realized it wasn't the idea of being a doctor that I was excited about, but it was more about the architecture, the organization of space, the setting up of the whole ambience that I was excited about. And here I am. I may not have enrolled for what my family dreamt, or in fact, I myself, I hadn't thought of architecture as an ambition, but then trust me, when you put your heart into anything, wonders happen. What is success? <laughs> success means different things to different people. For many, success means being rich, having the best houses, cars, and all the fancy things in the world. For many others, it means having status and power. Some want to be famous and to be recognized world over. But does gaining money, assets, and fame make one happier? Does it assure one peace of mind? Moreover, what is success if not peace and happiness? Even if we make a lot of money, we find that there are many others richer than we are. If we gain status and get into the inner circle of the society, we find that there are smaller circles within it that enjoy more power and fame than we do. Once we realize this, we will go all out to gain more money and more time. And the more we get, the more we end up on the treadmill of life, which will not take us to the frontiers, even if we try our very best. Finally, we slip down, tired and beaten. Lying there in our sunset years is when we will realize that our definition of success was all wrong and will wish for one more chance to start afresh. But then it'll be too late. If money and fame brought happiness, why are there so many celebrities who are depressed? Why are there so many millionaires who are into drugs and alcohol are committing suicide? Isn't it obvious that the path to mountain peaks of success and happiness is different? Then who are successful? They are those who get a chance to follow their talent. Those who are passionate about something and who are doing what they love. Those who are doing things that make a difference in the lives of others find ultimate peace and happiness. It is when you use the faculties given to you by providence in the service of others that your life becomes meaningful. Why do we adulate and revere Mahatma Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, and Mother Teresa? They were far from being rich, yet they are respected and they're immensely powerful. Why is that the generosity and wisdom of Ashoka has outlived the magnificence of Ashoka the warrior king? Why is it that when the rich and the famous is forgotten, selfless souls who strive to reach out to others live on forever? The billionaire Bill Gates will surely leave a legacy, not for building a successful company, but for using his fortune to help the needy. We must revisit our ambitions. Let us become doctors who will save the ones in pain. Let us become engineers who will build homes for the needy, chefs who will feed the hungry, journalists who will speak the truth. It is the significance of what we do that gives us relevance. Let's all strive to use our abilities and talents to solve at least one problem that this world has. 
And in that journey, make sure, make this world a little better than how it was when we were born. The famous author Robin Sharma asks, who will cry when you die? Let me rephrase that into, who will remember you and pray for you when you die? And if we lead our lives trying to answer this question, then success will automatically come to us. Our lives will become richer and we will be able to leave this world without any regrets. Have you heard of Meraki? It is a Greek word which describes an approach to doing things with passion, with all the heart. Meraki, which literally means essence of ourselves, the actual translation represents a concept that cannot be translated in one word, but it means something done with one's soul and creativity, effort, and a lot of love. It is often used to describe the way a home is decorated or to prepare a good lunch or to do anything you put your soul into. It's a personal and creative touch that makes the actions performed special and unique. I believe instead of working just using rationality, adding heart or meraki in whatever you do is where success lies. Thank you and over to you, Master of Ceremony. Wow, what an amazing speech. Yes, our amazing evaluators will come. The fifth speaker is Gavalier, Alka and Thomas. She is on par competent communication for Gavaliers at level three. She is at present doing the project, get to the point. May I request evaluator Marin B. Gb from 10 St. Paul's Cavaliers Club to read speech objectives. Good evening, Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmasters, respected guests, and my fellow Cavaliers. <clears throat> I'm Marin Gb, the evaluator, opposite speaker, Alka Ann. She's doing her project three really of competent communication her title is Paul Before You Fly. Her objectives are to select a topic and determine its general and specific purposes, to organize a speech in a manner that best achieves those purposes, those, those purposes to ensure the beginning, body, and conclusion, reinforce the purposes, project sensitivity and conviction, and control any nervousness you may feel, and also strive not to use notes. Can I please note that the timing is five to seven minutes? So I give my speaker best wishes. I'll go over to you. Kevlia, Marin Jibi, what is the one memorable lesson that you learned from about freedom too much? I think it's unity. They all come off together and they do it together. They never fight with each other. Uh, the thing, um, Fatima. Uh, to smash the Fatima tour, the revolt of 1857. Uh, at that time, the main cause of the downfall of that revolt was that small, small groups like Mughal Empire were, were separated into small, small groups, six and all. So uh, they were fighting against each other that they want someone to just, uh, establish Muslim rule, want someone to establish Hindu rule, etc. So um, that's why they were fighting each other. That's why uh, the revolt of 1857 was a failure. So, but the the the, the real ones, the freedom fighters who uh, did the road perfectly, the teamwork um, uh, succeeded, and they were able to gain us freedom. So, I think unity is the great. Great, Our speaker, Alka and Thomas, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alka and Thomas, fall before you fly. Fall before you fly, Alka and Thomas. Respected distinguished Toastmasters, Toastmasters, coordinators, guests, and all mighty gavaliers. A warm good evening to one and all. When you dream of a perfect life, you always hope that you will be happy forever. 
that things will always go the way you want. Your dream of accomplishing whatever you want. Your dream of having a successful career and a healthy relationship. Sometimes you try your best, but you simply don't succeed as much as you want to. Sometimes your best is not the enough and you get angry at yourself, but it's totally okay. Now, let me share an experience, personal experience. Go ahead, look at the front, don't worry and do not turn around. Okay, okay, but please don't let go of my hand. Please, Papa. With that, I move forward. He let go of my hand and I fell down. I was seven years old when for the very first time I saw a skateboard. It was a board with wheels in it. I was so amazed. I went to my mom and asked, Ma, can I please have the skateboard? She replied, no way. You don't know how to skate. What if you fall down? I kept making faces until she finally agreed and bought me that skateboard. I was really happy and excited. Me and my father rushed up to the terrace and I was on the skateboard when I lost my balance and hold a grab of my father's hand and refused to let go of it. Do you know what did my father do? He let go of my hand and I fell down. I was so angry and looked at my father, kept my hands on my hips and asked, why did you let go of my hand? See, I'm so hurt. Did you want me to fall? He replied softly. I am so sorry, but tell me, those 30 seconds that you were skating, didn't it feel like flying? Oh, yes, it did feel like flying. That's it. Sometimes, you have to fall before you fly. The seven-year-old me neither understood nor accepted his words. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I understood what my father was talking about. He didn't let go of my hand that day. He pushed me from my comfort zone so that he can see me flying. Dear Gavilius, when you start flying, you can fall, fall, and again fall until you finally learn how to fly. Now, when I fall down, I get back up, dust myself off, and start all over again. Now, I would like to conclude my speech with a quote. You will face many defeats in life, but never let yourself be defeated. Quoted by Maya Angelou. MC. Well, I feel like crying. Thank you, Gavalier, Merenjibi, uh, Alka, and Thomas. Yes. We'll move on our second speaker of the day. Next icebreaker will be presented by Toastmaster Anand Soni. He has chosen the path leadership development. I request Toastmaster Girish Mittal from online, his speech evaluator, to share what is a speech evaluator. Yeah, what do you say? Okay, my, my speaker uh, Anand is attempting his icebreaker, which is essentially oh. his uh, first speech in uh, Toastmasters. The objective yeah. is very simple, to introduce himself uh, to the club and to the August audience present here today. His uh, timing is uh, four to six minutes. All the best, Anand, and welcome to this journey. Thank you, Master. 
Thank you, Girish, uh, Toastmaster Girish Mittal, for the speech objectives. And our speech, Toastmaster Anand Soni's speech title, Self-Analysis and Self-Motivation. Speaker Anand Soni. Back to you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. All distinguished Toastmasters present with me and with me online. I'm really thankful to all of you for joining me for today's evening. In our life, every day we come across the different incidents. Some of the incidents, they give us the lesson, same. Some of the other incidents, we wait for the lesson. Do you remember today something happened in your life and you are thinking that why it happened with me? I hope that most of us, we come across several such type of activities. This thing moved me to come to my topic. Self-analysis and self-motivation. But before that, I would like to introduce myself once again to, in front of all of you. Myself is Anandson, Toastmaster Anandson. I started my career almost 20 years back. All in most of a small town, surrounded with the national and international borders. I come across the life where every day some international things are going on. My born at Butter is just 14 kilometers far from the international line. So how much stress people are going there every day in their life, you can assume. Because most of the time when we see something on the news, oh my God, this thing is happening, that thing is happening. Every such moment I live in my life. I live the moment of 99. When well, there was a carbon wall, the people who are staying near the international line, they have to come across all these things which are not going on the TV screen, which are the part of their life. That's why they call it the second defense line of the country. But that is not my topic. My topic is self-analysis and self-motivation. I studied that every day we come across the several activities and most of the activities force us to think that why these things happen or something immediately you better realize that I throw the red light, that's why I got this point. But some of the time when you fall sick, you will analyze why these things are happening with me. What's the reason that I'm getting fall sick? Several times. Two reasons can be possible. One of the reasons I think that all the persons who are present here and my friends who are with me online, most of you are very familiar. I again took my phone, there is a food poison. I went inside the, some climate that may be impacting on me, right? But I will tell you one of the incidents which I come across in my life. That forced me that whenever some adverse situations come, I need to do the analysis. Why this thing is happening with me? This incident, when I was a part of one university, I was working there, subordinating to the finance department. And my role was whatever the finance comes, I need to report that thing without financial control. In between one day, there were small transactions to pay. And <clears throat> I was not knowing that how to report that one when I went to the finance controller and he asked me that I should keep that money with me. Because there was nothing mentioned. I kept that money in my pocket. Immediately I realized that the day evening I was suffering with a fever and that money I kept almost one week with me. And I realized that whatever the impact I'm getting on my health, that definitely is because of the money, which is not relating to me. That is, that money is not my own money. When I realized this, when I did that analysis, I went and returned that money immediately. I told that 
This is not my job to keep this money. You have to settle it down. That how you settle it down is none of my headache. You will believe or not, the next day onward, I was getting well and well and well. In my life, I come across with several times some of the motivations thing. Because no one else can motivate you better when you are taking some decision except you. Either in this incident that you are identifying, this is not my money, I need to return it. Or anywhere when you think that I need the motivations, you are the best motivator. No court can motivate you except your own thinking. In our body, we need the two kinds of food. One food which will fulfill your stomach. <coughs> Please excuse me. One food which will fulfill your stomach and give you the muscle energy. The another thing which will help you to feed your mind, that is reading the people, sitting with your elders. I think that that thing will really help you when you are in the difficult situation when you need the push to motivate yourself. So always spare little time, stay with the living libraries in your family, find out some elder, stay with that. It will really help you. And whenever you are in a difficult situation, you will find out the way, how to motivate myself. And there only you will identify how can you analyze your own deeds. So with this only, I will try to conclude my topic that try to identify the living libraries in your surrounding, spare your time with those people. You will feel at the day that you are doing something really meaningful in your life. Thank you, all of you. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Wow, wow. <laughs> what a motivation. Great. Today, really motivated. And I request all audience, our Gavalier did not reach five minutes on her uh, speech. Please request all to consider, just uh, consider, if you can consider her for the polls for raising hands. The first speak. DTM Ranush, uh, I think, yeah. We can go ahead, uh, speech eligible. I request offline timer Toastmaster Regina Smoil to inform us to everyone qualified for voting. Voting time, yeah. Is our Toastmaster offline Toastmaster Regina already agreed for voting? I request the online timer Toastmaster Fatima Safa to post on the chat timing taken by the each speaker. I request the polls to be launched for the best speaker. So there is a key. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Uh, DTM Renosh, I think uh, we are seeing you are uh, old. Can you remove the post? We are seeing your results. Uh, you yeah. can remove the co host from Raja MS. And also from me, also. And, and from our opening officer as well. Now we have to speaker. Only speaker. I think we can see all of the options like auxiliary role player, role player, and every option instead okay. of just the speakers for the polls. Toastmaster Girija, you're on mute. Yes. You can see the 
you can vote only for the best speaker, I suppose. I don't know how come all are launching together, but only the best speaker you have got to vote, not the rest of it. I do not know others. Please do not vote for others. I can see other things also people are voting. Yeah, but we cannot submit yeah. with, uh, if we don't select all. All are required answers. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I will make the poll again. You can continue. Now we can close the poll. I'll make the poll yes. again. Yeah. So we Definitely. can we can do the poll uh, at the end. When, when all at the end when everything is done. Yes. Yes. Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. So we'll close it now. Yeah. Our next uh, team already ready. Then I can. Yeah, we could like to say our 11 audiences are in physical meeting. So offline altogether 24. 35 yes. participants in this joint meeting. Wow, really great grand success from all over the world. We connected uh, India, Egypt, Bahrain, Saudi, Kuwait, Dubai. Chicago. We also, we also had Canada as well. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. How from Canada? Canada and US as well. Yes. CM Modi, where is in Canada? Canada. Which place? Mr. Modi, where you are? Which place in your in Canada? Uh, Toastmaster Grija is from US. I'm in Chicago. So. Yeah, Canada from uh, Toastmaster Jini Jawara. DTM Jini Jawara. Yes. Right. Correct. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Yes. Okay. Now, our second part hand over to the floor to the online Toastmaster of the day. Toastmaster Girija Deshpande to take the meeting head. Over to you, Toastmaster Girija Deshpande. Thank you, my dear partner, Toastmaster Dre, distinguished Toastmaster Raja Manikam. It was a wonderful feeling listening to you. What is the one sustaining value that you imbibe from an Indian freedom fighter or Indian freedom struggle? You were asking everybody, but I would like to know what is the take that you have got? Thank you, TM Modi, uh, Toastmaster Girija. Yes, I would like to say one or three. Now, because we cannot uh, mention anyone, because our all the professor speakers already mentioned everything, uh, what challenges, what the campaign they gave. First, I could like to say, there is this decision making required courage, determination and perseverance. These three must to run the show, run the campaign. Without social media, our freedom fighters are did everything. How they created awareness of the freedom, independence to all the peoples by the walk, by the writing the writers, how our G, Toastmaster Zara Ibrahim writing the right poet, everything. But now everything is there. So we have to take the courage to establish the Toastmaster awareness who are not ready to speak. Who are ready to be a Toastmaster today? Lovely. You connected the freedom struggle and from there the learnings to Toastmasters. Amazing. Now over to the next session. That is Leah Annie Biju, just 14 years old, student at the Citadel Residential School, Rani. Her hobbies are drawing, singing, doing yoga and cycling. And she is the table topic master of the day. I hand it over to her to conduct the next session. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Girija. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished Toastmasters, Gavilias and guests. I, Gavili Leah, will be the table topic master for the meeting. The purpose of the Table Topic Master is to facilitate table topics where guests and members will have the opportunity to practice their impromptu speaking. I will introduce a topic and call on the speakers who will be given two minutes to speak on the topic. Now, before we move on to the actual topics, I would like to call upon the timers to give the timing criteria. Over to you. Shall I move on with the timing criteria? Yes, yes. The online timer. Okay. So, table topics are one to two minutes, 
and they sh their remarks should not be more than two minutes. At one minute, I will raise the green card. At one minute, 30 seconds, yellow card and red card at two minutes. Uh, let's try to, uh, you know, maintain this and over to you to uh, Table Topics Master. Thank you, Taima, for, for sharing the time criteria. Now with the formalities aside, let us move on to the actual fun. So just give me a second and I'll just share PPT. Is my screen visible to everyone? Yes, the timer also needs to be visible. So, yes, I can see her. Yes. Go All ahead. right. So, do we have any volunteers? So, the first volunteer, the Toastmaster Farooq. Yes, table topic master. Kindly choose a color green, white, orange, yellow, blue, and brown. I'll choose blue, please. Blue. So the topic for you is, if you were a leader who fought for the freedom of India, what would you have done differently? If you were a leader who fought for the freedom of India, what would you have done differently? Over to you. Thank you, Table Topic Master. What a wonderful question. That is and a thought-provoking question, that is. First of all, let me say something about our freedom fighters. They selflessly strove to remove us from the strife of oppression and injustice so that we could be leaders and strive to be leaders of our own destiny. And each of these leaders had a different perspective. But the common perspective for all of them that united all of them was the selflessness and the thought for the future generation. So what would I have done differently? I don't know. The differences would have melted to be have melted away in the commonality and the unity of our thought for the future generation. So, whatever may I have done personally, believe me, history would have forgotten that and remembered only that we were united in a common theme and have achieved our goal, not for ourselves, but for the future generation, which is again all of us, in the coming generations. So, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, do not let this sacrifice go in vain and strive to live to the ideals of those great leaders who strove for us and removed us from the strife of injustice and oppression. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you, Toastmaster, for, for such a wonderful answer. Now, I'll just share the screen again. Any other volunteers? Do tell if anyone is offline for I cannot see. <laughs> Online, I'm here. You can take me and then yeah, we'll decide. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's not waste time. I'm here, Girija. So, oh, Girija? Yes. All right. Toastmaster Girija, please choose a color. Now we have uh, green, white, orange, green. yellow, and green. brown. Green. Yeah. green. Yeah, so the topic right. for you is? Yes. Today, we are independently interdependent. Do you agree? Today, we are independently interdependent. Do you agree? Over to you. This is the greatest truth not just today, but every day. So, Mahatma Gandhi was pushed off the train in South Africa. At the time, he realized that people in India are also undergoing similar stress and are under slavery. That is when the thought came to him that I have got to go back to India and I have to serve the country and bring about fight for freedom struggle. We are emotionally interdependent. We may be independent as far as our thoughts are concerned, actions are concerned, but because we are emotionally linked to each other, we have a sense of responsibility. We have a sense of belonging. We belong to a family. We belong to a group. We belong to an organization that makes us work with a sense of responsibility. We take ownership. 
And another important thing that we need to realize is when I do something, it is not that I may be financially independent, but I need the support of other people to go along with me. Whoever the great, the greatest leaders in the world, if they don't get support, there are people who have lost by a single vote the opportunity to lead a team, Vajpayee himself. So this has happened in her history. We are all dependent on each other. We Earlier we recognize this, the quicker our responsibility and response towards the society. We'll be more affectionate. We'll strive to bring the people together and we will see to it that people understand what we want to communicate. We may have the noblest of ideals, but if we do not communicate it well, people are not going to respond to it. It is very important that we take people along. A leader who does not take people along cannot take the society ahead, whether it is a small family or an organization. Anyone may be having the biggest of the best of talents. That doesn't help if you do not take people along. That is, that is why emotional intelligence is as important as intellectual abilities. Over to you. Thank you, Ms. Vasilija, for such a wonderful answer. Now we have um, Mr. Kuripe's name. I'm not sure. Romy. Sorry? Yeah, yeah Toastmaster Hello. Romy, our uh, next uh, guest, next the table topic speaker from uh, physical audience. He's our past president of the IAM Club. <laughs> Table topic, Master. I'll just repeat. It is Toastmaster Romney, who is the past Romney. president of Ames Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster. Thank you, Toast. Thank you so much, Diti and Renoj, for clarifying the name once again. Past president, Toastmaster Romney. Um, let me just share my screen. Kindly choose the colors except for green and blue. Yeah, color yellow, please. Yellow. Okay. What comes to your mind when you hear the word freedom? Toastmaster Romy, the topic for you is what comes to your mind when you hear the word freedom? Over to you. <clears throat> yes, I'm free. I can do everything. I can sleep. I can eat well, nobody can control me. Table topic master, I follow those masters, and guys, good evening. The first comes in my mind is nobody will control whatever I will do. That's freedom. Freedom is given to all the people. And uh, we have uh, we have freedom. Each people have freedom to think, and this freedom given to all of us. We have to enjoy it. But remember, my fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, whatever excess, whatever we are over in our limits, it's, it is not good. Freedom in a such a way that you should know your limit. And it is, it is always uh, it is always doing well. It is always good to have the freedom in your heart, the willingness in your mind and in heart. And of course, you can give the suggestion, you can give whatever you want to uh, share with other people. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Toastmaster, how about you? What comes in your, in your mind about freedom? Are you okay for that? or you want more to explore, but it's freedom in your home. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, to, uh, Past President Toastmaster Romy. Now, I saw DTM Najpali. Yes, could you please unmute yourself? Yeah. Am I allowed into you? Yes. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, you are now audible. Let me just share my slides. Just a moment. All right. 
Choose a color, any color. Except for green, blue, and yellow. Orange. 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 Okay. The topic for you is, if you could change the colors of the Indian flag, what colors would you choose and why? If you could change the colors of the Indian flag, what colors would you choose and why? Over to you. Hello, Toastmasters. I agree with the topic given to me. What colors would I choose? If you would have asked me, what color is favorite for you? Perhaps my answer would be orange. But since the release of uh, Patan, I'm not going to talk about that orange. White is the favorite color. You know why? Peace. May peace prevail on everybody. The people who are living now, the people who are passed away. How many of you, raise your hands, wish May his soul rest in peace. I'm sure everybody, right? For freedom, the right to people, the right to voice. Again, if the atrocities are we not facing the problems? Poverty, climate change. Beyond that, injustice is a good child. To me, what comes to my mind today with this color, among the trial color, the white, peace, people, our environment, our attributes. Do you have that commitment in you to embrace, empower those around us to uplift, who are underprivileged? Do not show your accomplishments for those who are not even seen. Do not show your pride for those who don't know what is happiness because they have never seen what is happiness Maybe because of economical uncertainty. So to me, if you can, sow a seed for better tomorrow. When I'm, what I meant to say, sow a seed, the seed of grace, the seed of gratitude, the seed of giving hand to someone who is in need. Topic master. May peace we prevail on this planet Earth. Over to you. Thank you so much to DTM Natvali for that wonderful speech. With that, we, come, we have come to the end of the table topic session. Now I hand over the control to Toastmaster Girija and in the online for the polls and DTM Raja for the ballots in offer. Thank you and over to you back DM Modi, Toastmaster Girija. Yes. Thank you for a wonderful Toastmaster session. The topics were very beautiful. And before you go back, what is the one lesson that you learned from Indian freedom fighters or freedom struggle? Very brief answer. I think the one thing that, one of the things that I learned from the one of the freedom fighters that is the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi himself, was forgiveness. Yes. Because he has gone through so much so much he was beaten, he was thrown into jail, but never once has he ever taken an action or taken revenge or acted upon his anger. He always forgave and listened and always was kind to others, no matter what the circumstance may be. So the one thing that we all have to listen to or put into our lives or implement more or strive for is forgiveness. Thank you Thank and you. back to you, Piamoni. Thank you. Now we move on to the next session quickly. We have the general evaluator for the day. She's an aspiring biomedical engineer, writer, reader, educator, and dreamer. She started a journey in the Toastmaster circuit at the age of 11, as we already heard. And she's here today. She believes to speak is to influence and to influence to become creators of change. And that is what one should strive to achieve. 
This is Sarah Ibrahim for you. Over to you, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Sarah Ibrahim, to conduct the evaluation session. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Dede, Toastmaster Girija. Uh, let's quickly go into the evaluations because I'm very much interested to hear what the evaluators say and whether we are matching thoughts on what we thought about the speakers. So our first evaluator for today, I would like to call upon Toastmaster Parashar to please evaluate Toastmaster Harish speech. Hello Toastmasters and guests, good evening. I speak mm -hmm. a speech, a speaker has the opportunity to tell about the introduction, about his hobbies and about his any special thing to the audience whom he doesn't know and audience also, they don't know him. So our target speaker, Mr. Harish Natarajan, you have spoken well and you have delivered your speech very confidently and all the purpose are fulfilled. Every speech has the three elements. One is the opening body and the conclusion. In the opening, my target speaker is started by explaining what is the icebreaker? Then he told that he born in Borivili, Bombay. Then he entered into the body by telling that in the high secondary, then he opened the musical club, his hobby bars, and uh, he became the higher on the music. Then he came to the, his profession and he concluded by explaining that how he changed his life when he entered into the artificial intelligence. Why this? You all fulfill the objective and your icebreaker is uh, completed. So good luck to you. This is the I congratulate you. But there is always space for the improvement, Mr. Harish Natarajan. From my experience, and this is the very personal experience, you have broke the stage, there is no doubt. Everybody like your story and you grab the audience. Everybody was listening to you. But I have the two suggestions for you. If you can apply in the next story, you can make your good story to the great story. My two suggestions, one I saw on, all, all the way in Toastmaster, in ice breaking, we are, you are allowed to read the notes even if you don't remember. So first thing, instead of sitting, if you could have stand on the stage, that would have affected more because people, all audience can see your gesture and they can, you can make more effective in your stories. This is the one. Second is, you spoken only, I think, three minutes or 30 seconds. Although we have the three to six minutes, you should have given the more information about yourself, about your family status, about your friends. So people, audience will come to know because this was the first time we met you. That's all. Otherwise, uh, we love your story. It was very good. Good luck to you. Back to the general evaluator. Thank you so much, Dr. Master Parishar. And I am not surprised. I do agree with your evaluator, Dr. Master Harish. Uh, and you should definitely follow up. One thing that I think we missed out on was as an icebreaker, we always give a standing ovation to the person who does his icebreaker. It's a ritual in Toastmasters. Thank you for the offline attendees on following it up. Uh, I will not be able to do that. So I salute to you, Toastmaster Harish, for completing your icebreaker. Uh, commendable job done. Please keep doing what you're doing. And that's how your journey continues. All the best. Uh, let's move on to our second speaker, who was yet again another icebreaker, Toastmaster Anand Soni. Can I call upon Toastmaster Girish to provide his evaluation? Thank you, General Evaluator. As, as already mentioned, uh, my target speaker, Anand Soni, attempted his uh, icebreaker. As already is, uh, spoken by the, the previous uh, evaluator, icebreaker is uh, is an attempt to introduce the uh, introduce yourself to the audience. Uh, you are new to the audience, and audience is new to you. 
So the essentially, it, it is an introductory speech in the Toastmaster, and uh, the, the speaker is expected to be a little nervous. He is expected to fumble a little, but uh, but the speaker Anand Soni came on like an opening batsman uh, in the olden days. I would I would have uh, said like uh, Virendra Sehwag. Or in in the in these days uh, we talk about Sky Surya Kumar Yadav. He he came. He started with bang and he spoke. He spoke like a pro. He spoke. Uh, he spoke like a professional speaker. He 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 gave a kind of a motivational speech. He mentioned about uh, Kargil uh, War. His experiences around Kargil War. Essentially, his experiences around the the international border. His hand, his hand gestures were good. His eye contact was very good. I mean, he was trying to keep an eye contact with both online as well as with offline audience. But he, he took time to come to his topic, which he selected, uh, that is uh, self-analysis and self-motivation. But he interlaced his topic with some personal experiences and how how we are working in an organization he he had taken some he had kept some money in which affected his health and how it uh, gave him back that money improved his health so from the, all those perspectives his speech was very good it had all the essential elements of good speech but but the speech was an icebreaker speech it was uh, the speaker was required to introduce himself uh, to, to the audience. The only two words of introduction I could uh, uh, I, I, can, I could I can remember now is uh, regarding uh, his experience with Cargill war and his uh, 20 years in the work experience of 20 years. So I, I believe uh, 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 Anand should uh, should repeat the icebreaker. It should be more of uh, an introductory speech rather than a motivation speech. And I, I know he's a he's a very good very good speech. He's a very good speaker. But just taking up uh, the the few boxes correctly would take him further uh, on his Toastmaster journey. Back to you, generally. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Grish. Uh, Tosmasa Anand, I do agree with your uh, evaluator on that sense. And honestly speaking, something that I noticed for an ice baker, you were very enthusiastic because what happens is the first time you do it, you're nervous. But the number of times you have done your ice baker when it comes to other paths that you're pursuing in your Toastmaster journey, you kind of get bored about talking about yourself, even though it's something that is the easiest thing to do, but we find it a little bit difficult at first but all the best talk to your evaluator maybe after the meeting if you can get in touch with him and get in touch with your mentor try to see what you can make changes in here talk about yourself we want to know you and how exactly what exactly brought you here how exactly you are moving ahead what are all the things that it involves you and you completely it's all about you so once again, I would request the audience, the online, you can do this. But I would request all the offline attendees to please stand up and give him a standing ovation for doing his icebreaker. DTM Ranoj being... <laughs> DTM Ranoj standing for all of us here in the audience. <laughs> Could not stand up right now. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster. Let's move on to our third speaker. Toastmaster Mohammed Amar Arafat, who is here from Egypt, all the way from Egypt. He's here connected with us and he did his level two project. We have Madam Lawyer, Toastmaster Nasha, uh, going to be evaluating him. Please, Toastmaster Nasha. Thank you, General Value. As a mentee, which is very, very important, which gives us an insight as to how you are as a mentee and how do you adapt to mentors in particular very important because then once you start mentoring people you will see a diff you will be on the other side of the you know uh, screen so you will see things a little bit more differently your perspective will change 
so that's for you as such the speech you know it takes you back other than that i believe you have a long way to go and you will do really really well i see a, i see a great great journey in toastmasters and i look forward to hearing your speech about you mentoring whenever mm. i'm there in egypt i'll definitely look forward to hearing your speech mm. let's come up to the next speaker toastmaster rusbi who approached me for the ge role and i had warned her not to take me as the ge but she did not listen to me <laughs> uh, let, uh, let me call upon her evaluator toastmaster sheril please the screen is all yours thank you general evaluator good evening toastmasters and welcome guests let me start by appreciating toastmaster rusbi for delivering her speech promptly and confidently the way you presented yourself with poise just loved it let me brief some things which i loved about your speech first of all good structuring it was very clear and you touched every aspect relating to success including your personal life story very well uh, job on that secondly appropriate usage of pause after asking the questions i noticed that you paused for us to think about uh, an answer which is a very good practice while de delivering the speech Uh, i noticed that the key message was completely aligned with the content of the speech does success mean being rich you gave us examples of people who were poor in terms of money but rich in determination and hard work which are the keys to success you ended with a very thoughtful message about marathi something done with one soul and undivided attention to achieve target some uh, let me uh, point out some things that i uh, you could have worked on a little bit firstly the title pathway to success it was apt for the content of the speech but you could have used something more dramatic something which gives us an urge to know what can be the content of the speech like using a question or a exclamatory phrase second thing on which you could work on is your vocal variety your speech was very influential but it could have really painted a picture to us if more of body language and vocal variety was used for example when you started the speech what is the ambition in your life is the question frequently asked to me so on and so forth like another one would be what is success like you could stress on the questions which were being asked by you so that you could grab the attention of the audience lastly the stage usage i would have been more impressed if you had stood up and delivered the message so that more of your gestures and body language was visible just sum it up good uh, things which i loved about your speech good structuring appropriate use of pause key message the things that you could work on the title vocal variety and stage stage usage i wish toastmaster rusbi the very best for your future speeches and to wrap it up let us all give uh, another round of applause which the speech deserves very good thank you and over to the general valiant thank you so much toastmaster sharin so i do not need to do any evaluation because toastmaster sharin nailed it with her evaluation great job and uh, i i really love because i've heard about success in so many different speeches it keep it keeps uh, you know reiterating by different people but i like how you took it with a different perspective altogether and that's very very important an idea which is original in comparison to the rest of the world talking about it so that's that's very important something that i wanted to highlight other than what go with what your evaluator said she is right and you will do very well and my someone who took me down memory lane today 
the last speaker me being an ex gavel gear i for me it was like uh, you know nostalgia uh, because the project reminded me of the speech that i had done when i was 12 years old can i call upon a gavel gear meren to please evaluate gavel gear alka's speech um the for the offline meeting the mic is muted ttm yeah thank you uh, i i know her for i've been hearing her for quite some time and i have uh, seen her in these speeches and i think this was a very good one and the matter was the best so let me state some of your best uh, best points we started with a, a good thought and a nice introduction The next thing I liked was your you use an experience and in speeches when you use experiences you promote your topic and those experiences are very good. I loved the convo thing you did you, you did there. The matter was very informative with a good topic for before you fly. I also noticed that you uh, had some very nice gestures. You used your space very well. You moved around and uh, with hand gestures. I like that very well. and also you use your voice modulation uh, properly at high pitch sometimes low pitch fast slow sometimes uh, now as we always say there's room for mistakes but that's not much this time just uh, two things for me the lighting uh, you were standing i think in the light is behind you so it is hitting you and uh, and there was some clarity issue so i would suggest uh, facing the light when you sat stand the light should be in front of you so that uh, it it appears in your face and does not uh, um, make it blur so uh, then i uh, the second thing is the timing the timing uh, the timing was a bit out of um, uh, limited so the you you did not reach the minimum limit given but no problems you had you have lot of time to improve me myself i always have a thing with time i sometimes it is not get to the time it is sometimes gets over time sometimes full of nervous i go fast like a metro speed and um, i congratulate you as you finished your level 3 project and uh, best of luck to you i love your speech all in all good luck to you and back to you master sen Thank you so much, Gavel Master Meren. I, I, the way she did her evaluation is something that our coordinators and Gavels used to teach us. At the end, you have to congratulate them for completing the project. And when I came to Toastmasters, you don't often do that anymore. So I was kind of relieved that nobody will pass or fail me in any project because I used to repeat multiple times. but something that i would uh, love to commend gavalier alka on was the objective of this project is to get to the point as soon as possible because you cannot keep beating around the bush and trying to woo the audience with as many aspects of your speech but you have to get to the point and that is something that is kind of missing in in the toastmaster setup um if a lot of people would have noticed it yes ttm radnosh i had an account of flaw i know you <laughs> yes yes okay yes you can fill an entire paper with my account of itself what i believe is that as you are growing up as you have a long journey ahead of you i would suggest you practice your speech before you perform it here because doing it in the online even us toastmasters we find it very constricted but we definitely have to practice that back at home before we can perform it here and that is one thing that i would tell you so that you can assess how much do i move and something that she raised it very rightly your uh, your evaluator the lighting of the room do that once you enter the meeting room assess it and then you are ready and prepared to give your speech well thank you to all the evaluators you have done a wonderful job
um, my only recommendation to the evaluators would be please do the evaluation as if you are doing a performance because an evaluation is a performance not your dialogue between a speaker and you you're not directly speaking to the speaker you're talking to the audience and telling them what your speaker has done you know was which was a highlight for you and what is something that was you know that they could have done it better and taken the speech to another level so this is something that i would you know emphasize more on other than that i think you all nailed your evaluations very well uh, can i have the timing report for the evaluators before we proceed ahead so uh, i'm the uh, online timer pk parashar toastmaster has taken uh, 2 minutes 54 seconds Sharon has taken three minutes eight seconds. Girish Toastmaster has taken three minutes two seconds. Nasha has gone little over time, but I think you can consider three minutes five fifty nine seconds. And Meren uh, has taken two minutes six seconds. Thank Almost all so are much. qualified. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Fatima, for doing a wonderful job. so you can are we going to have the voting right now yes we can launch the poll right yes so everybody can vote and then we'll move ahead no can we have also the uh, grammarian everybody give their report and launch the polls okay. together okay yes. i was hoping that i keep the grammarian and our counter for the last because once i start giving my report i would love for the grammarian and our counter to keep a check on on my language and pause fillers that i'll be using because trust me people can get rich <laughs> when i use pause fillers <laughs> yeah so i can can i'll i'll finish my report as soon as possible because there's not much to yeah. say right. and then i'll give finish the report and then you can call the others yes okay. that's okay thank you so much to smashi girija five clubs what a joint meeting <laughs> it's finally over honestly 35 participants 11 sitting physically 24 that had been here and for me this was a privilege an honor moment for me to be here present with you all please give yourselves a round of applause for organizing this joint meeting we often have joint meetings with two clubs and we go through a situation where it's very chaotic with two clubs itself it's five i saw the agenda and i told toastmaster rusby that i have to take out time to see the actual agenda to understand what exactly is going on and i do not want to be lost as a ge because that does not reflect good on me the meeting started at 6:40 bahrain time and 9:10 india time uh, i would suggest i would have given the time for globally because there are people from all across the world but then that would have made me calculate too much and not paid attention to the meeting itself so um, i apologize but something that i believe it's very very important whether you do a joint meeting whether it's your regular club meeting uh, follow the parliamentary procedures definitely propose that we are extending the time due to our due to the absence of some of our assignees we are extending the time to 10 minutes i propose the motion and you mention your name and your club because as it's five clubs we want to know so that some the secretary can note down all those points the next thing that i loved is how the president instead of calling upon guests and everything them he mentioned who were the guests and he invited everybody he mentioned all the clubs that were there and he talked about who were the vp who who were the ex com members it was it was beautiful and it was given so much of importance each club got its own its own significance and value that for me it i felt that yes it is it is great if i was part of the clubs i would feel so much more important and that's very important as a president you have to set the tone for the meeting for the rest of the meeting going towards 
the two toastmaster of the day you are giving me ideas for hybrid meeting thanks to dtm raja i'll be contacting you for you know helping me with hybrid meeting setup because honestly everything was clear on that side of the screen and i am i i honestly did not have any glitches from this end usually what happens in online a hybrid meeting that i have noticed is where we find glitches we, the online people cannot hear or the physical people cannot hear her, us so there was nothing as such that i believe and the audience would also attest the same yes. and we had two toastmaster of the days we need to take this back to other clubs in the district to tell them once you conduct hybrid meeting you can have two assignees that gives more people a chance to perform to participate in the meeting as a whole and that's such a beautiful idea honestly but two timers what i believe as you had gone all the way to do all the two 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 i would have loved to have two table topic masters so that our dear gavelier lia would not have faced the situation ah uh, what is the person the physical room i i saw that so let's avoid that honestly uh, but great job done my highlight of the entire meeting was for me was the table topic session um if somebody saw me and saw my reactions would have noticed that i loved the table topic session and this is what i had told to my supervisor as well immediately i i was like the topics are so great and gavelia lia if you're free just drop in your number i would love to be on contact with you would you be willing to do our table topic session in another club as well because you were you brought out the topics you really made them think and that's very important because yes yes please do clap for us <laughs> proud moment for coordinators all the gaveliers honestly because you really made them think on their feet today's table topic session was a testament to that particular quote and i want you to showcase yourself at different you know clubs as well so definitely i'll get in touch with uh, dtm renosh and try to get in touch with you as well coming to the table topic speakers you were equally competent enough to answer and respond to her topics that's also important because if you do not understand what the topic is that's where the excitement the thrill of the topic just loses out on so it was an immaculately incredible table topic session as a whole and i love each and every bit of it the topic really made me think i am so glad i was not called for table topic session because i have no answers to any of the topics that you said and i am very lucky in that sense all in all great meeting i i am i am tr truly honestly to us mr rosby i was just scaring you uh i usually am very brutal and ruthless but how do you evaluate people who are too good to be evaluated <laughs> that is what i believe from today's meeting thank you and i would like to request the grammarian to please give your report ma'am thank you that was very insightful report and look forward to presenting the grammarian report word of the day was strife and dtm renosh thomas mohammed rafat sherin matthew she used it twice and the to table topics master gavelier lea also used it once good usages were plenty life changing opportunity hands on experience difficult decisions there was an alliteration there altruistic tired and beaten rich and famous revisit our ambitions essence of ourselves pour out your soul into feed your mind constructive these were very good usages areas of improvement i didn't knew i didn't know because we don't have two positives two past tenses together did not itself is past tense so the next verb the main verb that comes in has to be in the present tense so we never say didn't knew it will be didn't know why it happened with me why did this happen to me 
Why did this happen to me? The way the question is formulated is different from the way a sentence is formulated. So after the question verb, you will have the subordinate verb, verb, and then you will have the main verb. So why did this happen to me? Myself followed by name. I'm myself so-and-so. Never introduce yourself myself so-and-so. It is either I am so-and-so or you say my name is name is so-and-so and I'm a chartered accountant and I'm a lawyer, whatever. I myself did it. I myself was not aware. So myself is used as a reflexive pronoun to show emphasis or to take responsibility. I myself did it. I myself am responsible for it. But for introduction, never start with myself. One of the reason, one of the reasons, there are many reasons and among them one. That is the correct way expression. I was not knowing. I was not knowing is wrong. I did not know because it is not past continuous. It, at a specific time, you were not aware. So I did not know. I need the motivations. Motivation is always singular. I need the motivation, appreciation, criticism. These are always used in singular, even though it, you may receive many different forms of motivation, many different forms of appreciation. Still, you will you say motivation, appreciation, criticism, etc. Started with bang, started with a bang. And these are the corrections that I could notice. Pronunciation errors. Career, career, somebody pronounced this as career, it is career. And similarly, audience, somebody pronounced this audience. It is not O, it is A. The pronunciation is not O, it is A. All of us will do have our mother tongue influence. There is nothing wrong with it. But anything that can take you away from the clarity of understanding, that is where I will point out. Thank you so much. Over to you, gentle evaluator. Thank you so much. Toastmaster Girija, that was a wonderful report. I had goosebumps because my, anybody knows me, I am, I call myself a grammar Nazi and I love hearing the entire report of yours. Let's move on to my least favorite role, honestly, our counter, because I'm penalized for it too many times. Let me invite DTM Danosh to please give his report. Thank you, General Evaluator. Once again, good evening to all fellow Toastmasters and guests. Well, today, the one thing that I did not have, though it was the theme, was freedom. Freedom from the pen and the paper. Well, in fact, you all may be busy today, but that's my role and that's very important. As an R counter, it's important for me to listen very carefully, to observe this, and it is also equally important that we all strive to enhance our vocabulary enhance our communication so that we try to minimize these fillers as much as possible. I will not go in detail with the reports, but having said that, I will only say the majority of those that I'm going to say right now said the word er. Uh. Some of us said um and er, uh, but I'll give it a kind of a doubt. I can take it aside, but I'll just say that majority used uh, more. Now they were, I'll just name only those who have used the word a uh, majority. Toastmaster Harish, Toastmaster Muhammad Amr Arafat, Toastmaster Rosby, Toastmaster Nasha, Toastmaster Sharon, Gavalier Meren, Toastmaster Girish, Toastmaster Regina, Distinguished Toastmaster Raja, and our general evaluator as well, Toastmaster Sara. They, they were the ones who used a majority. Now, a few used repeated words. Toastmaster Muhammad Amir Arafat used the word in, in quite often. He had a general evaluator. He used you know, you know, and it's, it's. These were the two words that were quite repeatedly used. Apart from that, it was fantastic hearing all of you. I think next time I need to keep myself away from this pen and paper. I'm sure all of you will definitely minimize this next time. And I'm looking forward to fantastic speakers ahead. Over to you, General Valid. Thank you so much, DTM Renosh. I, I'll tell you the, you know, the solution to your problem. If you want to stay free from the pen and paper, just stop inviting me to your club meetings. Huh? That's the solution. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much with that wonderful report by your role players, by the evaluators, 
I think my job is done here. And I sign off as your GE. I give the control back to Toastmaster Girija to please take on the proceedings of the session. Thank you for a very insightful report and very interesting observations. We'll now launch the polls again. Just a minute. I request everybody to respond to the polls. And in the meantime, I take the liberty to introduce our area director. Our area director has been there from the right from the beginning observing us. This is our area director visit. Area director Tosin Araujilu is a professional civil engineer who moved from the United States to Bahrain in 2009. She is a certified leadership coach, speaker and trainer with John Maxwell Group. Wow. She joined Toastmasters in 2014 and has held several positions. She is a Division 1 District 20 humorist speech champion and has received the Triple Crown Award. She is the current Area 35 Director. Her passion is to empower professionals to live a life of significance and be the agents of change that they would like to see in the world. So I'm very happy to have her here. And as soon as the polls are done, then I would request her to give her observations about on the meeting and share her feedback so that we can improve our meeting better and make it better. Thank you. You want me to speak? I think she said I should wait. Right? Evan of a, pardon me. You want me to say something now, or should I wait? Yeah, uh, as soon as the poll is over, so that people can pay complete attention to you. Okay. It would just be yeah, just, in a matter of seconds. 13 of 18 participated, I think. Those who are hosts cannot participate, right? So I think we have done it now. Right? I close. I end the poll? Yes. Thank you so much. So, you can see the polls and you can see and share it with me after you total it. Thank you so much, Renosh. Yes, look forward to your address, Assistant, your Hello. our area director, ma'am. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and the online folks. Good to see you as well. First of all, I have to say, I'm very impressed. Uh, this is the first time I've seen, first of all, five clubs yes. in a meeting. I, I was talking to the young lady next to me that I'm going to keep this as a souvenir because I've never, seen, I've never seen a program this big. So I'm definitely going to keep it. So I am the area director for Area 35, which for which Indian Academy falls under my area. However, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here to observe the joint hybrid meeting of all the clubs working together. It's really amazing to have this kind of collaboration. So great to be here. And my observation is that everything went very smoothly. The setup was well put together. The camera views were all in a place where you could see everybody and everybody could see what was going on. I want to commend our IT champion. <laughs> He's always doing such an amazing job. And he put everything together so that we could enjoy and participate in the meeting. So a couple of things I will, since there are five clubs, I will speak to DTM Raja separately regarding Indian Academy observation. I'll do that on a separate note, one on one. But overall, well done. This was a great meeting. And thank you very much. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Area Director. It has been a pleasure to listen to you. And I would certainly see whether I can draw any lessons with whatever you share with Raja. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for that. 
uh, now our um, closing notes at the lessons learned from the freedom fighters and i would just like to share a few things before we close clarity of thought from the clarion call of swaraj from bal gangadhar tilak courage from rani lakshmi boy who at the age of 29 died at battle in gwalior netaji with this visionary statement you give me blood and i give you freedom the need to sacrifice to realize the value of what we get thirst for knowledge and courage of bhagat singh who till the last minute at the age of 23 was reading books before he was just hanged to death at the age of 23 even until the last moment he was reading books jyotipa phule who fought for equality of the downtrodden so that everybody can fight shoulder to shoulder for freedom dada bhai nauroji who fought taught us alertness of bringing to our attention the economic exploitation of our nation by the british he was the first person to make us aware of it how to lead a life dedicated to principles from begum hazrat mahal who fought in the forest in exile when she was thrown away from mewat and the british tried to bribe her with huge money and comforts but she said no and she stood with the freedom fighters and stayed in the forest even though she was used to very rich life that is the experience that we have learned from freedom fighters and the lessons that will stand for life now the presiding officer girish mithil has excused himself because he is not keeping well and so we would i would like to share the vote of thanks and in the meantime we can also look at the certificates and after that i would just we can have the vote of thanks so just bear with me for a few minutes i will just share the certificates and then we can have the vote of thanks right so <clears throat> this is our certificate of appreciation presented to our general evaluator please put your hands together for our general evaluator sara ibrahim then we have a certificate of appreciation presented to mohammed uh, arafat who has come from egypt and presented his speech put your hands together for appreciation for him then we have got the two people who gave ice breakers the toastmasters harish natarajan and anand soni receiving their certificates hearty congratulations to you on that then yes the best table topic speaker is two people are there romi and girija so i will correct that yes so shall we send the rest of the certificates by i will post it in the group and then we can share it the certificates are ready i'll just post it in the group yes so i'll just i'm happy to present the vote of thanks i do not know whom to thank the collaboration itself has been such a beautiful experience with atmanirbhar bharat i came to know few of the people here especially our dtm renush thomas and he has been my guiding light and when he invited us that we can have a when i asked him whether we can do a joint meeting he was he welcomed me with open arms already you were having a joint meeting with three clubs and definitely this caused the need to have probably a hybrid meeting because we were doing we can join you only online and still you did all the efforts to do it and i believe that this is the best hybrid experience that i have experienced because this is not believe me the first hybrid meeting that i am attending there are so many conferences that i have attended nowhere we can, we have matched this kind of precision and beauty. so thank you very much for the seamless experience the way all of us are uh, almost like uh, in our whatsapp chats fighting for information and asking that this is required that is required all the time at the back of people i think 
this is required we need we are here to nudge each other because we can the, become the best version of ourselves and we do not mind if somebody points at our faults that is the biggest lesson that toastmasters has taught us that it is only with uh, you know very constructive feedback feedback given with the intention to improve us that we improve in our life so this is a beautiful opportunity it is not only we are improving in our speaking skills or leadership skills but i think in compassion empathy we are improving so as human beings we are becoming more service oriented so we are working to the value of toastmasters toastmasters as service is one of the most important values and that is the value integrity and service that two values we are carrying with us beautiful over to you thank you so much and uh, let me adjourn the meeting on behalf of the yes thank you